Assalamu alaikum, marhaba, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a traditional Algerian dish called burkokis. It's just perfect for these cold winter days. Burkokis is a handle of large green couscous prepared throughout North Africa and the Middle East. Burkokis can be cooked in a rich white sauce, a very spicy red sauce, or even in a rich creamy milk sauce. Prefer burkukis with meat and seasonal vegetables, cooked in a slightly spicy red sauce. Burkukis can be made with beef, lamb, or chicken, or even vegetarian. In Kabylia, they often added dried preserved meat to enhance the earthy flavors of this dish. Traditionally, burkukis is partially seen in a couscous yet, then added to the meat sauce to cook further. Personally, I find cooking the burkukis in the sauce along with the meat imparts a much better flavor with less stuff. Less work in the kitchen is always a good thing. The main ingredient of our dish is burkukis. There are very few places outside of Algeria where you can actually find burkukis. But a good alternative is to use the small soup pasta nose as peppercorns, pearl couscous, giant couscous, petit plomb, pastini, or also ancini di pepe. Here in Algeria, you can use the hand-rolled large couscous or even factory produced ones such as this one. Other ingredients that we're going to need are chicken. I like to use roasted chicken which imparts a really pleasant flavor. One large onion. garlic, carrots, courgette, parsley, cilantro or coriander, pre-cooked chickpeas, frozen peas, and our seasonings, you can optionally use a hot pepper, bay leaf, thyme, tomato paste, deer saw, which is a red pepper paste, salt, rasul khanout, and black pepper. Bismillah, let's begin the dish. We begin by adding the oil to the pan and sauteing our onions until soft. Adding garlic. Move the onions to one side and add our tomato paste in to caramelize. The caramelization of the tomato paste removes much of the bitterness. Once the tomato paste is caramelized, you can add in the deer salt, the red pepper paste as well. You can add in the remaining spices and seasonings. Now you can also add in the meat. And then you can add in the chickpeas. And then also add in the carrots. And the bay leaf and fresh thyme. Throw it in there, stir it up. And now you can add in the burkukas or the pastini into the pot. Give it a good stir and allow the burkukas to brown a little bit with the oil. Now add in your water. You need enough water to cover the burkukas. You'll probably need to add more water later. The burkukis is just about halfway cooked. We'll remove the chicken, discard the bones, and shred all the meat. 
also add in the frozen peas and the cubed courgettes and also the fresh herbs stir well and add more water if needed As you can see the book cook is quite dry, it's soaking up all the liquid. I would definitely add more liquid to the book cookus as it does swell up quite a bit. Even after cooking the book cookus still is absorbing all the water. So usually you have to add more water than needed. As you can see, our bird cookies is fully cooked. I like to have my bird cookies al dente to have just a bite. Uh, you can for, you can cook the bird cookies a little bit further if you like yours fully soft. At this time, I'll also add back in the shredded chicken and let that heat through. As you can see, that the bird cookies it had, does have a lot of the liquid still in the pot, but the reason for this is because even after you turn off the fire it will continue to absorb all the liquids so i would always suggest to add more liquid than needed so when i made this pot of burkukas i made it just about an hour and a half before i was going to serve it for my family for dinner so it perfect perfectly uh cons it perfectly absorbed all the excess liquid by the time I was serving it. So I would also suggest if you are pre-cooking your burkukas a day ahead that you keep in mind that it does keep absorbing liquid. Hey burkukas tana wajda. Here's our finished burkukas. As you can see it's very colorful full of nutrition vegetables all through. I always like to have a lot of colors in all my dishes. I don't like bland looking plates. Burkukis is slightly spicy, really warming the bones on cold days. The burkukis, as you can see, it's much like a risotto, has a nice sauce going to it. It's not too soupy or dry at all. You can add a bit of butter, ghee, or smell at the end before serving it if you like. It gives the dish a really nice creaminess. This dish is perfect on its own, but it's traditionally served with a similar in a galette called kisra. My family also likes a bit of goat cheese or common bear on the side. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until the next time, thanks for watching.